So yeah, today we got some brand new iPhone 13 stuff to talk about, but I really think I'm going to start making iPhone 14 videos just to see how early I can get you guys to start clicking on those. Want tech news in a way that doesn't suck? Subscribe and turn on notifications for because I said so. Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Front Page Tech, FPT Fapata, the show that gives you all the latest tech news from one geek, that is me, to another that is you. Happy Wednesday, happy hump day, our favorite day of the week. Listen, <laughs> I know I sort of made fun of you guys in the last episode for trying to skip through different parts of the show instead of just watching the whole thing. Because, listen, I put in the work, right? I make a whole episode, so I would just appreciate it if you did watch the whole episode, but I read the comments, I get it, I see a lot of you guys would love to have timestamps so you can pick and choose parts of the show to watch, who knows, maybe it's more convenient for you, so today, down in the description, I'm leaving you timestamps so you can jump to any portion of today's show. Go ahead, take a look. All right. All right, so before we jump to iPhone 13 stuff, first up for the day, story numero uno, let's talk about iPad Pro. So we've been hearing about the iPad Pro for the last few weeks, but now we have some brand new supply chain reports coming out stating that the iPad Pro will use a mini LED display, which I feel like we already knew, but cool. And that it will launch within the first quarter of 2021. So that's kind of soon. And yes, this is the same iPad Pro that we talked about last year. So early last year, like right after the 2020 iPad Pro came out, I actually reported that there was another one on the way that we would get by the end of the year. Obviously, that, uh... That did not occur. But according to this new report from DigiTimes, they are also saying that there was supposed to be an iPad Pro at the end of 2020, but was delayed because of Dorona. Which is sort of a weird pattern happening because even though you might not know, behind the scenes, Apple has been sort of behind on every iPad for the past couple years. Like the last one we got in 2020, the 2020 iPad Pro was supposed to come out like earlier than that. But even that was done in 2019 and didn't ship until 2020. So now we have another one that was supposed to come out end of last year, but it's coming out uh, now. I mean, I guess the whole mini LED thing is uh, something to be excited for. I mean, if you were thinking about buying an iPad Pro right now, how about no? How about you don't do that? Bad idea. Now, DigiTime says within the first quarter of 2021, that puts it at any point between now and the end of March. So thank you. Thanks for being specific, guys. You yeah, really appreciate it. Great. You might as well have just named your article brand new iPad Pro coming I don't know, sometime. As far as what I know, I'm actually hearing specifically the end of the first quarter of 2021. So at the end of the thing. That would make it March. So I guess we'll be on the lookout for the brand new iPad Pro around that time. But to be fair, you got a couple new Apple products coming in March. So, you know, uh, there's that. Okay, so next up for the day, uh, before iPhone 13, how about iPhone 12 stuff? Uh, it seems iPhone 12 mini is not doing as well as we hoped it would. According to sales, it's just not doing as well as the other iPhone 12 models. It's just not. So all together right now combined, the iPhone 12 models have accounted for 76% of iPhone sales in the United States for October and November. The largest chunk of that went to the regular smegula iPhone 12. That accounted for about 27% of those sales. But the iPhone 12 mini? <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, six. Six percent. Does that mean it's terrible and that it's doomed? No. And this is where I'd like to dive into some market analysis here and explain this a little bit, uh, because I'm actually really interested in how this is going to do over time. Not necessarily right now, initially, but over time, because... <laughs> This has happened before. Back a couple years ago, uh, when I was saying that the iPhone XR would outsell every other iPhone, nobody believed me because 720p display and nobody wants that. But it's boring and it's terrible and insulting and disappointing. And at first, uh, sales for other models like the iPhone XS Max, that was seemingly doing better. So a lot of people were quick to point the finger and be like, hey, Prosser, you were wrong. People want the best one, not that one. But naturally, as expected, over time, the iPhone XR was in fact the best seller by like a lot. So I'm very curious to see what happens to the iPhone 12 mini, specifically for the same reasons that the iPhone XR was such a success over time. These sales were accounting for what? October and November? Those are initial sales. And of course, yes, 
right off the bat, the people buying initially are going to be the people that really care. People like me and you, we're going to be the ones. We're the ones knowing it's launching right then. We want to buy it right then. But the average consumer, the mass market, they buy over time when it's most convenient for them, not just when the phone comes out. And who knows what the most convenient time for everybody else is. For somebody, it might be, you know, a special birthday coming up. For somebody else, it might be, hey, they got a, they got a bonus in their paycheck, so they have enough money right now. Or maybe they have an upgrade to their cellular line coming up. That is when the bulk of these sales happen. I don't know, let's just keep an eye on it. I feel like the iPhone 12 mini is really like a sleeper right now. Do you, do you have it? I'm curious to know how many of you watching this show right now actually opted in to get that iPhone 12 mini instead of the other ones this year. I mean, my 12 Pro that I have uh, was sent to me for free. Um, because I'm cooler than you, but if I had to pay for it myself, who knows? I would have likely considered that 12 mini. I really think it. All right. So let's talk about iPhone 13 stuff. Um, this is a huge feature, like a really, 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 really big feature, but I, not because I said so just because Apple thinks it is. So, you know, don't blame me. All right. I'm just the news guy. What do I know? It seems like Apple's favorite feature of all 5g is gonna be available for more people worldwide. Millimeter wave 5G to be specifically specific. Oh man, that's clickbait. 5G isn't a crazy big feature, you all. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, have you heard? Today, we're bringing 5G. 5G, 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 5